A bittersweet outcome for a Santa Ana burglary victim. A camera containing some priceless photos was recovered a year after it was stolen. But as CBS2 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely shows us, the man had to buy back the camera at a pawn shop. And the camera still has uh, a memory stick in here with a ton of pictures from her funeral. The last time David Lacey saw his camera was just over a year ago. On it were pictures of a deeply personal time in his life, the funeral of his wife, Erica, who died of lymphoma at the age of 30. No, I'd written it off like it was gone. The camera with a custom strap handmade by his wife was stolen during a burglary at Lacey's Santa Ana home while he was away on business. Police say from there it landed in this woman's hands and then was sold to a local pawn shop. Had Detective Jerry Verdugo not gone the extra mile and pieced together clues to discover who the camera belonged to, David Lacey would still be without the camera. One picture in particular caught Verdugo's eye. There was a photograph of, of a neighborhood that had distinct trees and a wall, a large wall. And uh, when we drove out there, we located the victim. I was like, what? No way. You know, super surprised and just stoked. As 21-year-old Monica Molina was led into the police department in handcuffs after being arrested today, she denied to me that she had anything to do with the stolen camera. So you took a man's camera with his wife's, uh, his dead wife's photos on there. I didn't take anything. Police say her boyfriend, David Aguilar, who is now in custody, has broken into several homes. A tracking device on a stolen iMac led Verdugo and his partner to the couple's residence. Inside were 21 pawn slips, another missing piece of the puzzle. There is more unclaimed property from this string of burglaries that police hope to reunite with the owners. It includes a camera, iPads, tablets, and a cell phone. There is also another Canon camera. It's an EOS. On it, detectives have found photographs of a family vacationing in the Grand Canyon. If you think any of this belongs to you, contact Santa Ana Police. In Santa Ana, Michelle Geely, CBS 2 News.